Hi guys, welcome back. Um, thank you for joining. My name is Teresa and I'm Scattered Sprout. Uh, today I thought we would, I wanted to take this crispy wave that I've had for mm, about a year and try her in Lekka. She's not doing her best. She's not living her best life. She did great out in the summer, but I haven't seen a lot of growth. I want, you know, so I'm going to give her a shot and I thought you could join me to do it. So let's, let's get at it. So the first thing we're going to do, I'll just show you what I, what my plan is. She's in this little three inch pot with dirt. I don't know if you can see the dirt. And I'm going to do a makeshift um, semi-hydro vessel thing. So I'm just going to put her in a bit bigger pot. And I'm just going to have this as her uh, water tray. You know what I mean? Um, and I think I think that'll work fine, at least for now. I, I, I might change this up a bit, but it was kind of all I could find at the moment. So... I thought, well, that'll work because it'll suck up. There's enough, like enough holes in the bottom to suck up the water. So we get that capillary action, capillary action happening. So we're gonna do that. I have the pre-moistened and fertilized yo uh, Lekka ready to go. So this should be pretty quick. The only biggest, the biggest part is gonna be getting the dirt off the roots. I actually just watered her yesterday so I might have to break just to um, clean her roots off. But we're also going to trim up some of this brown that I see happening. Freshen her up, get all the dirt out. She's got like right in the center. I know there's a new leaf coming in. I know you can't even see it because of the dirt. So, and then maybe I'll show you. I'll be able to show you. So let's get started. So first thing you do is obviously take right out of your pot and squeeze it. Like, yeah, there's like a lot of, you can see the amount of dirt at the bottom of that pot. So we're gonna uh, gently, gently try and clear this dirt off. Um, because she's so wet, I'm just gonna have to kind of massage because I can't actually even see her roots. But I definitely will wash her, like I will put her under the top just to get rid of the, the dirt. Clean her up, make her feel fresh and happy and and, and all pretty like. And I don't like this because I cannot at all, at all, at all, at all, see the dirt from the roots. So let's give it a bit of a squeeze here. See what we've got. Uh, I wasn't actually planning on doing this, so I, should, I probably would have been better not to have watered her yesterday, but she just gets so dry so fast, which is crazy because like with that much dirt, there's a lot of moisture, but that's not good for her roots either. Even, even if she is a fern. Did I say the name Crispy Wave? Yeah. She was very, very tiny. I think she was in like a two inch when I, two inch pot when I got her. So yeah, but okay. So what I'm gonna have to do, I'm gonna pause real quick and you can see how, you can see the roots, but I've got this really thick section here and I can't tell if it's root because it's so wet. Um, so I wanna kind of rinse her under some water. So I'm gonna do that really quick and then I'll be back and we will finish getting her into Lekka. So give me just two minutes. Hi, I'm back. That definitely took a little more than two minutes. Um, I'll just get, show you. I got as much of the dirt off as I could. A lot of that is staining, some of that could be, but if I do any more, I'm actually feel like I'm gonna really hurt her roots. So. There's two schools of thought to this. Um, 
one of them is, you know, get rid of, remove all the dirt because the dirt will hold and like create, um, will cause the roots to rot. Um, her, actually her roots are really, really nice. Um, and others like just pick up the pot and put it in semi-hydro. Like, you know, literally don't, don't mess with the roots because it is very traumatic for them, right? So what I'm going to do, I think, is I'm going to go with the second school of thought. I tried even in the middle. I can't get that dirt out. So I think what I'm going to do is we're going to put her in water. I'm going to keep an eye on her roots. And eventually she's going to develop water roots and I might be able to cut these back. But I'll also keep an eye on the roots because you can't even see it against my shirt there. Um, just keep an eye on the roots and the growth, which makes me wonder if I should put this in a clear container so I can see instead of this pot. I don't know if I have another one that I could use with holes, with drainage. Well, it's Lekka. I can pull her out of the Lekka and look, right? Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, so I'm just gonna switch trays here. So I'm not working in the dirt of my salad topper. What is this from? Um, uh, oh, whoa, oh, Costco veggie tray. <laughs> you gotta be creative, right? Okay, so literally all I'm gonna do and this is how easy this is, is I am going to, this might be a little loud, I apologize. I'm gonna put some Lekka at the bottom. And then I'm going to sit her in the Lekka so you can see like she's just kind of right about below the lip. And then fill in the remaining so that she's sturdy. You want to make sure to get that lecker right into the roots so that she's got every chance of um, of getting you know the water that's being pulled up into her roots. So we'll just add a bit more here. Let's get it out of the leaves, stand her up straight. solid. Actually, you know what? I think I can put her down a little bit deeper. I feel like the top of her root ball is too far out. And this will hold her more sturdy. Now, because she's moving, um, actually, let me just finish this real quick because I am just making too much noise to talk. You can typically feel if there's air pockets. You can feel one in here. So you just want to make sure that you get, like when you squeeze, squeeze the pot, like I, it feels more solid now. Oh, I can feel one. I can feel one there. It's hard to explain if you're not actually feeling it, but oh, none of those went in. That was ridiculous. Okay. So I'm just going to squeeze these down.
Okay, so she is done and she's nice and full. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so I'll just throw these last few in and then I gotta try and remember what I was saying before I said I wasn't gonna say it. Um, don't remember. Okay, it might come to me. So what I'm gonna do now is just trim off. These are nicely washed and let's get her sitting straight. And I'm just gonna trim off some of the brown edges. Um, I feel like it's better, I mean, you don't have to. I feel it does look prettier and it, yeah, I guess it's probably mostly aesthetic because I really don't like to cut. So I'm just literally trimming off some of the bad stuff, you know, cause she's probably a little bit embarrassed by all this brown stuff on her. Like, you know, she's done a pretty plan. I actually really, really want, I want to grow her um, big. I haven't had a, I've got an asparagus fern that's doing amazing. I've killed quite a few ferns. Well, not a quite a few. I've killed a couple um, as I was learning. And now I'm kind of getting to understand, you know, the, like more so what they need. And believe it or not, all ferns are not equal. And I think I was told at the beginning, yeah, they don't need a lot of light. They like the light. They like, oops, they like the light. So, I mean, it's not obviously direct sunlight, but they do appreciate light. So I've got a little heart leaf fern that's sitting in a dome right now because it just can't seem to grow without it. I'm trying to find her a really nice, um, a nicer dome to sit her in so that she can grow, but she's also hitting the top now of the dome that I have. So I have to find her something and just keep her kind of in an attraction terrarium type environment so that she just loves loves the moisture this one probably I think she grew best um, last summer when I had her outside and she grew quite a bit back then but not not what I'd like to see her growing so I'm hoping hoping that putting her in LECA will be exactly what she needs. So I'm just gonna put her in this bowl now. Oh, I know what I was gonna say. Um, when you're transferring a pot, a plant that's been in dirt into semi-hydro, you definitely wanna keep treating it, watering it like you would a, a plant in dirt because it has to it has to establish those water roots. So if you were just watering it from the bottom, it may not get enough, at least for the first, I don't know, they say three months maybe, I guess just keep an eye on the roots. But, okay, literally I'm using the water out of this spray bottle because I didn't bring any other water. Um, but I mean, it makes sense, right? Like if you were just to throw it in here and this LECA dries out, like the LECA right now is really moist because I had it soaking for I think 24 hours. But if you just let it sit there, the roots are just gonna dry. They're not gonna get enough until they start building the water roots that can that's resilient to semi-hydro. Also, um, this water also has, you want to fertilize every time you water because unlike dirt that has nutrients and, and microorganisms, my, my, you know what I mean? Um, water has like nothing, right? So you want to make sure that every time you actually do, uh, water and add water that you add fertilizer to the water, some kind of semi-hydro, uh, a good enough and why I can't talk right now some kind of like it's good that's works for semi-hydro and what was the other thing I was thinking of I don't know but so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to 
don't know if you can see this. I'm just literally going to pour water in here. Now the roots honestly are like way up here. Technically with semi-hydro, you really don't want the roots themselves, especially the touching the water. You want it all just to come up, to be pulled up through the capillaries or whatever that motion is. So having like, in this case, I'm just, because she's brand new, having this kind of water, the LECA right now is wet. She's got this below her root line and you just want to keep an eye on this and keep this reservoir filled, right? Or not filled, but you know, like keep water in the reservoir so that the LECA has always got something to pull up for to water the roots. And then eventually she will get her water roots. Hopefully this won't be too traumatic for her. I know I've done it for a couple other plants and these seem to have adapted really, really well. Um, one of my other videos, we put my anthuriums in pond. One of my anthurium, the only, yeah, one of them. And I'm just shocked. Like no issues so far. And that was at least two weeks ago. I would have expected to see some kind of downhill action by now. So she's loving it. So I'm really hoping that Fern will love this. And what's great is in the summer, when she does go back outside, which is not far off, um, I can keep her in a container like this, but you're watering. I water her so much more often in the summer. So she's gonna be constantly getting plus the natural moisture in the air. So maybe by next September, you know, she'll, she'll, we'll see some significant growth. One thing I was going to try and show you was her little leaf coming in before we, before I say goodbye. Um, let me see what I need. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. It's right. Oh, these guys keep getting in the way. Can you see it right there? Tiny. I'm sorry. It's really hard to get it. And it's a little bit covered in the dirt. So yeah, so that's it. We're going to see how she does. Hopefully she likes this much, much better. And oh, one thing I do love about Semi Hydro that I'm finding, it is way easier to water. You have a lot of plants. So I will be eventually transferring um, quite a few of my plants over. I don't have a lot of pest issues, to to be fair. I mean, I, I'm not gonna say, I fungus gnats this year have been amazing. I haven't had very many. Um, mealies are attacking my pothos, but not to any great degree, usually because I pest check all the time. I like, I catch them and I get rid of them. But I've, I've had pothos for a lot of years and it's only been the last couple of years that I've really even seen mealies, so I don't get it. But Pests are a part of life, right? Anyway, thank you so much. I hope this was helpful. If you liked the video, please subscribe if you haven't already and give me a like, I'd love it. And thank you so much for joining me yet again. And if you're new, I really appreciate you joining um, and look forward to seeing you soon.